day, good evening chocolate lovers, welcome to Chocolate TV episode uh, 221, 221. Uh, today I thought we'd take a very quick, uh, fast, uh, no this is wrong, hmm. there they are, sorry, fast uh, chocolate tasting, uh, I think I tried a, a small piece like this before, uh, this is Bouchard, a Belgian chocolate maker, uh, making chocolates. I tried the 72% cocoa. This is the dark one with uh, orange. This is the dark mint. And this is uh, the milk. So we'll start with the milk and then go on to the uh, orange and then the mint. Let's see what Bouchard chocolate. Uh, I don't know what kind of doesn't say how many how many percent there is in the dark let's say it's about 50 or 60 it usually is not over that when you is you just print dark orange or dark mint so the milk 30 35 percent I have no idea doesn't say anyway we try it anyway we try it anyway Busha. Belgian chocolate maker, small chocolate tablets like that, uh, well, fairly dark for being a milk chocolate, uh, a little bit darker than Cadbury's or Hershey or Fatser or Marabou or whatever kind of milk chocolate brand is your flavour favour. Uh, let's sniff it. Boiled milk and sugar with some cocoa powder. Also a slightly chemical scent. Okay, let's taste it. Kind of neutral star. Sugar. Cream esque kind of mouthfeel. Hints of vanilla. More like a hazelnut cream than milk chocolate, actually. Yeah, chocolate hazelnut mix. Maybe no, not not any almond. Kind of disappears. Gone. No aftertaste. No back end. No. Hmm. That's no good. That's one out of ten. Let's try the dark orange. Orange and dark chocolate is often a very good combination. And that may be due to the fact that uh, cocoa, the cocoa fruit actually have kind of citrusy notes as a natural. But our processing industry, some sort of destroy that on the way, especially making milk chocolate. We are more used to the dark chocolate flavor instead of lime and grapefruit and, and oranges. But the orange scent in a, and the orange flavor in a chocolate bean are often very nice. Uh, this one, uh, kind of darker, yes. Uh, kind of dark brown with a... a well, dark brown. That's it. Let's smell it. Yet yeah, you can feel the orange. Or at least something like the orange chemical. You got the ester, you know, esters and the chemical com compounds that smell different uh, mm -hmm. on account how you uh, place the uh, carbon and hydrogen and oxygen atoms.
can't feel the, the chocolate scent. Is that orange? Okay, let's let's try it. A bit harder, a bit drier. Very good balance between the chocolate and the orange. The orange doesn't overpower the chocolate, um, but it, it is there, lingering. Very nice orange flavor, though it smelt, smelt, felt. Smelled and felt, <laughs> felt, <laughs> kind of chemical. It's it's not a, that chemical chemical on the tongue. It's more like yeah, I can I can see that's orange. And you got a, a dark chocolate where the kind of on the sweet side, but uh, you got the the nutty flavor. You got the black tea. And you got the dark chocolate flavor. Towards the end, there, there's a, a bit more orange, so it comes along nicely. There's no acidity; it's just uh, dry chocolate with an orange twist. Could be more. I'll give this one. Okay, I'll be nice. I give it five out of ten. So the next one, dark mint. Same kind of cocoa uh, content as the orange, I think, but because I can't find any information on the package, I don't know how much. And this has mint instead. Same kind of color, dark brown, chocolate brown. Let's smell it. It doesn't smell, but that much of mint as minty products usually do. This has actually a, a, a chocolate smell, dry cocoa powder with some black tea and a, a, yeah, a, dab of di a dab of mint. A dab. My tongue is quite... I haven't taken anything before except chocolate. Maybe I should uh, wind this to speak better. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's try it. Faint mint scent. Okay. This actually had mint crisps in it. Yeah. The orange chocolate didn't. So that immediately releases a lot more mint flavor. And it's not peppermint, it is mint. Starts up very balanced. Chocolate with a chocolate flavor, black tea flavor, and a, a, a dab of mint, just as the nose told me. And it is as the chocolate melts away, you get a little bit more of, of the mint character. But it's not overpowering. It's not after eight. Much more so, subtle than that. And that's good because I don't like mint in that aspect. Lots of mint or peppermint and things like that. This is kind of balanced. I'm going to give this one five as well. The chocolate could have been better. But the the actually flavouring very uh, well done by Bouchard, a Belgian chocolate maker. So that's it for 221, episode 221, and uh, I'll be back next Monday with 222222. Uh,